good morning dear students today i shall start a very beautiful speech of chief, chief sital before starting this speech i want to tell you a few things related to the speech that will help you to understand the speech clearly and easily first point in this speech of chief sital nature's a sympathetic role in the lives of chief sital's tribe youth is <coughs> impulsive <coughs> youth is youth is impulsive nature lead them into war and destroyed them everything on the earth has life earth is sacred earth is pious earth is holy earth is celestial ironic reference to george washington as natives good father the god of the whites is different from the natives great spirit who guides them through their traditions next point for the lives and their ancestors their land and culture is holy their land and culture is pious and saintly the natives and the whites will have a common fate the native tribes would agree to sell the land only if they are allowed the privilege of visiting their land and the last point in this speech the whites will never be alone the land will swarm with the inevitable death of sitals tribe this chief sitals speech has been described as one of the most beautiful and prophetic statement even made on the environment it refers to the red indians respect and love for their land environment and nature around them this speech this beautiful speech of chief sethal is the mouthpiece of animistic philosophy animistic philosophy is the philosophy which means that plants animals and inanimate objects have life life that of man this is speech of chief sethal is the formal address delivered to an audience the narration is in first person and in this speech simile metaphor and alliteration figures of speech are used simile is a figure of speech in which a comparison is made between two objects of different kinds which have at least one point in common in this figure of speech the words of comparison as so like a use metaphor is an implied simile a comparison is made between two objects of the same kind but the words of comparison as so like a use alliteration is the continuous repetition of the consonant sounds so let us start this beautiful speech yonder is sky yonder means a distant yonder is sky that has swept that has wept tears of compassion tears of compassion means tears of sympathy upon the people for centuries untold untold means countless centuries from countless centuries the yonder is sky the distant is sky is soaring tears of sympathy tears of compassion 
to the people living here on the land and which to us appears a changeless and eternal may change and which to us and all these things appears to the chief Sithans tribe changeless and eternal, endless, everlasting and immortal and perpetual that which cannot be changed eternal, endless may change yonder sky that has wept tears of compassion upon my people for centuries and two and which to us appears changeless and eternal may change today is fair today is very beautiful tomorrow it may be overcast with clouds tomorrow will be cloudy my words are like the stars that never change chief sithal says that his words are his words are like the stars that never change that will never change means that will remain constant in this world and in future the words of chief sithal will give inspiration to his people whatever sithal says the great chief at washington great chief at washington the first the here it is given the first president i want to explain here listen to me the great chief refers to george washington as their good father who promises the natives that if they do as he desires he will protect them Sithal says that the white people's brave men will provide them strength and will protect them from ancient enemies whatever Sithal says the great chief at Washington can reply upon with as much certainty as he can upon the return of the sun or the seasons. Whatever Sethal says, the great chief, great chief means George Washington, can rely upon with as much certainty, can rely on means can depend on with as much certainty as he can upon the return of the sun are the seasons means he is confident that the next day the sun will return if one season passed again the same season will come the white chief the white chief says that big chief as washington sends us greeting of the friendship and goodwill white chief who is the white chief here since chief sithal make listen very carefully since chief Sethal was an illiterate man, he referred to George Washington as the president through during Chief Sethal's time. The US president was at that time was Franklin Pierce. Big chief here refers to the president while white chief refers to governor Isaac Stevens to towards the west. Chief Sithals, the white chief says that big chief at Washington sends us greetings of friendship and good friendship and goodwills greeting was just sent by the big chief at washington this is kind of him for we know he has little need of our friendship to return he has little need of our friendship to return his people are many they are great in number they are like the grass that covers vast areas vast areas means a large open area of grassland they are like the grass means they are everywhere they 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 are large in number my people are few but chief sithals 
people means a tribe are very few they are few in number they resemble the scattering trees of a storm swept plain the great and i presume is i dear good white chief sings her words that he wishes to buy our land white chief sings us word that he has desire to buy our land and is willing to allow us enough to live comfortably and is willing to allow us to live comfortably in hard time the chief george washington will help the tribe this indeed appears just even generous just even very kind and magnanimous for the red man for the native american no longer has rights that he need respect and the offer may be wise also as we are no longer in the need of an extensive country there was a time when our people covered the land as the waves of a wind ruffled ruffled means a disturbed sea cover its sail paved floor sail paved floor means covered with hard shells hard shells like tortoise there was a time when our people covered the land there was a time when we were large in number as the waves of a wind ruffled ruffled means destroyed sea cover its shells paved floor means there was a time when on the sea shore you will find a lot of shells in the same way our people were scattered everywhere we were large in numbers but that time long since passed with the greatness of tribes that are now but a more fruitful but that old time passed in the past we were large in numbers but now in the present we are very few in numbers and our mournful time is going on because our population is decreasing very rapidly i will not dwell on nor mourn over our timely decay timely decay means destroyed before time destroyed before time i will not dwell on nor mourn over this is not the time that i start mourning on the past history something that is passed away cannot be brought back those who are sensible person realize that there are many problems of their present life which demand their attention they therefore do not bother about the past they are wise enough to realize that to think too much about the past is to play havoc with their life our untimely decay there is no need to think about the untimely decay means we destroyed before time now reproach reproach means disappointment my pale face pale face means a name used by the north american indians for white person for white people brothers with has telling it as we too many have been somewhat to blame youth is impulsive youth is impulsive means youth is likely to act suddenly and without thinking chief sitan says that youth is impulsive youth is likely to act suddenly and without thinking this is the first cause of the destruction and devastation of our tribe when our young men grow angry at some real or imaginary wrong and disfigure their faces with black paint it denotes that their hearts are black and that they are often cruel and relentless means harsh and our old men and old women are unable to restrain them. those who were old at that time they were unable to restrain or control the people who belong to the younger generation and this became the cause of 
the destruction of our younger generation. Thus it has ever been. Thus it was when the white man began to push our forefathers and westward means towards the west. But let us hope that the hostility means enemies, enmity. But the let us hope that the hostility, hostilities means enmity between us may never return. We would, we we would have everything to lose and nothing to gain. We have everything to lose but nothing to gain. Revenge by young men is considered gain. Revenge is a kind of wild justice. Revenge can be considered to be justice only by uncivilized people. It is something which is not good for our, for our civilized society. So revenge by young men. Young men were, were very furious and this feeling of revenge lead them towards their destruction. Revenge by young men is considered gain. They were thinking that by revenge they can achieve a lot of things even at the cost of their own lives but old men who stay at home in times of war but old men who stay at home at times of war and mothers who have sons to lose no matter those mothers who lost their sons they knew better the pain which they experienced sitting at home after losing their son. Our good father in Washington, for I presume he is now our father as well as yours. Since King George, Charles III, has moved his boundaries further north, our great and good father, I say, sends us words that if we do as he desires, if he do, means if the chief Sithal tribe will do as Jars Washington desires, he will protect us, he will protect the tribe. His brave warriors, his brave soldiers will be to us a bristling, bristling means vigorous and energetic wall of strength, means they will stand before the tribe as a powerful wall of strength to protect the chief Sithal's strength. And his wonderful ships of war will fill our harbors so that our ancient enemies far to the northward, the Hadas means indigenous people of North America and the Siami, Siamians, North American Indians of the Northwest coast will seize means to stop to frighten our women, our children and our men. Then in the reality, he will be our father and we his children. In the reality, he will be our father and we will be his children. But can that ever be? Such, can, such kind of thing will ever happen? Your God is not our God. Chief Sithal says that your God is not our God. There is a difference. Your God loves your people and hates me, mine. He folds his strong protecting arms lovingly to protect you, to protect the white about the pale face and leads him by the hand as a father leads an infant son. But he has forsaken his red children. He has forsaken his red children. He has completely forgotten, forgotten his red children. If they really are his, if the tribes were really their children, our God, the Great Spirit, seems also to have forsaken us. Your God makes your people wax stronger. Wax means is spread from one to another area like melting. When the wax will be melting, then it will spread. Your God makes your people wax stronger means you were 
spreading your area and you were your people were scattering in every nook and corner of the world every day day by day soon they will fill all the land and a time will come when your people will be found in every nook and corner of the world every where in the world our people are eating our people are receding away like a rapidly receding means retreating tide that will never return the white man's god cannot love our people or he would protect them they mean to be orphans they mean to be orphans who can look nowhere for help how then can we be brothers how can your god becomes our god and renew our prosperity and awaken in us dreams of returning greatness if we have a common heavenly father we must be partial for he came to his pale face children we never saw him we gave our laws but had no word for his red children who is teeming who is teeming is large number of people who is teeming once filled this vast continent as the stars fill the firmament means the sky now we are no distinct races with the separate origins and separate destinies there is little in common between us there is a little difference between both of us to us the essence of our ancestors are sacred chief sitan says to us the essence of our ancestors are very holy and pious very celestial to us and their resting place is hallowed ground and their resting place is a holy place for us is a pious place for us is a saintly place for us where our four fathers are buried those places are very pious to us very holy to us you wander far from the graves of your ancestors you wander far from the graves of your ancestors the graves of your ancestors are here and you are going to another country and seemingly without regret without regret your religion was your religion was written upon tablets of a stone by the iron figure means by the immortal hand iron figure of your god so that you could not forget here i want iron figure biblical phrase which means finger of god it refers to the words written on to the stone tablet that later were brought down from mount sinai by moses the tablets were also known as 10 commandments the tablets were also known as 10 commandments the red man could never comprehend or remember it the red man could never comprehend such kind of thing they could never understand it they could never remember it our religion is the traditions traditions of our ancestors traditions of our ancestors means transformations of transmission of customs our religion is the traditions traditions means transmissions of customs and beliefs from generation to generation from generation to generation the dreams of our old men given them in solemn words the dreams of our old men given them in solemn hour means in serious hours of the night by the great spirit by the almighty and the visions of our seems see seems means chief of american indian people and is written in the hearts of our your dead cease to love you 
because you left the grave of your dead say here in your country and you went to another country that's why your dead your forefather your ancestors sees means is strong to love you and the land of their nativity as soon as they pass the portals portals means gateway of the tomb and wander away beyond the stars they are soon forgotten your people are soon forgotten and never return they never return to the grave of their ancestors but our dead never forget this beautiful world that gave them being that gave them existence they still love its vibrant valleys its murmuring rivers its magnificent mountains sequestered valleys and verdant lined means flourishing lined lakes and bays and ever yearn means dreams of in tender fond means liking affection over the lonely hearted living and often returns from the happy hunting ground to visit guide console and comfort them day and night cannot dwell together chief sikal says that you are the day because you are the white people and we are the night because we are the black people day and night cannot dwell together cannot live together these words of chief sikal shows the class of cultures the red man has ever fled the approach of the white man as the morning mist flees quick exist before the morning sun however your proposition seems fair and i think that my people will accept it and will retire means give up to the reservation your offer the you offer them then we will dwell apart in peace for the words of the great white chief seem to be the words of nature is speaking to my people out of dense darkness out of thick darkness it matters little where we pass the remnant remnant means remaining of our days it matters little it does not matter that we pass the remaining years of our life remaining days of our life we will be able to pass the remaining days of our life they will not be many i know that the remaining days of our lives are not many the indians night promises to be dark the indian nights promises to be dark not a single star of hope hovers hovers means remains in one place in air above the horizon sad wild winds moan sad wild wind laments in the distance means we are hearing the laments from a distance green fate seems to be on the red man's trail in spot and wherever we will hear the approaching footsteps of his fell fell means deadly destroyer and prepare is totally means without being upset totally means without being upset we prepare ourselves to meet his doom means to meet the destruction as it does the wounded doe that hears the approaching footsteps of the hunter as the wounded doe hears clearly the coming footsteps of the hunter in the same way we are also hearing the footsteps of the destroyer a few more moons a few more winters and not one of the descendants of the mighty hosts that once 
moved over this broad land and lived in happy homes. Protected by the great spirit will remain to mourn over the graves of a people once more powerful. In the past, they were more powerful and hopeful than those. But why should I mourn at the untimely fate, premature destiny of my people? Tribe follows tribe and nation follows this. Tribe follows tribe and nation follows this. Like the waves of the sea, like the waves of the sea, one waves follow another waves. One nation follows another nation. One tribe follows another tribe. It is the order of nature. It is the order of nature. And regret is useless. Your time of decay, your time of pace, destruction may be distant. But it will surely come for even the white man whose God walked and talked with him as friends to friend cannot be exempt from the common destiny, cannot be exempted from the common destiny to face. We may be brothers after all, we will see. We will ponder, ponder means think about carefully. We will think very carefully about your proposition. When we decide, we will lead you know. We will let you know. We will ponder your proposition. And when we decide, we will let you know. One day we will let you know. But should we accept it? I here and now make this condition that we will not be denied the privilege without molestation, without disturbance, without dis molestation of visiting at any time the tombs of our ancestors, friends and children. I hear and now make the condition. This is my condition. Chief Sipal says that this is my condition. That we will not be denied, we will not be refused the privilege, the paramountcy without molestation of visiting at any time. Any time we will be given permission to visit the tombs of our forefathers, ancestors, friends and children. Every part of this soil is sacred. According to Chief Sithal, the soil of his country was very holy and pious to him. Every part of this soil is sacred in the estimation of my people, in the opinion of my people. Every hillside, every valley, every plain and every grove, small wood has been hallowed, has been holy by some sad or happy event in days long past. When it means disappeared. Even the rocks which seem to dump even the rocks, even the mountains, rocks, which are dumb, which are not saying anything. And a dead, as the, they swelter, means come as exceedingly hot in the sun along the silent soul. Shrill to be excited with memories of stirring, stirring means exciting, events connected with the lives of my people. And the very dust upon which you now stand responds more lovingly to their footsteps than yours because it is reached with the blood of our ancestors. Our body is reached with the blood of our ancestors. Our ancestors' blood is running through the veins of our body. That's why it is our responsibility to visit the tombs of our friends and children and ancestors and that's why this the soil of this country is very sacred and pious and celestial to us and our bare feet are conscious of the sympathetic sympathetic 
and our bare feet when we are putting our bare feet on the ground we are experiencing the lovingly touch of our forefathers that they are buried here in the earth of our country in the soil of our country our departed braves braves means american indian warriors fond mothers glad happy hearted maidens and even the little children who lived here and rejoiced here for a brief session will love these somber solitudes means a dark lonely passage brief seasons means short period of time and at even tide means evening they greet shadowy returning spirits and when the last red man shall have perished and when the last red man shall have destroyed and the memory of my tribe shall have become a myth among the white men shall have become a story fuck story among the white men these souls will swarm with the invisible dead of my tribe and when your children children and when your children's children think themselves alone in the field the soul the sob upon the highway or in the silence of the pathless woods they will not be alone in all the earth there is no place dedicated to solitude solitude means a state or situation of being alone in all the earth there is no place dedicated to the state or situation of being alone at night when the streets of your cities and villages are silent and you think them deserted means deep people they will throng with returning hosts that once filled them and still love that this beautiful land when the places will be empty at night our spirits of our ancestors are visiting and giving us blessings the white man will never be alone the host means reference to the spirits of the dead natives let him be just deal kindly with my people for the dead are not powerless don't think that the dead people are powerless because the spirit of our dead ancestors are visiting this pious land this holy land to give us blessings dead did i say can i say that they are dead they are coming to give us blessings there is no death only a change of words thank you